Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today's just a quick website update. So I'm trying to get my head around what to do with the website here. I'm trying to maximize the usefulness of the website for everybody involved, including free content, paid content. Like my head's exploding with the number of things I want to do, but I just don't have the time. And then of course I have a day job and all that, but, but there's something good coming for you guys. Uh, so live right now, it should be live at most times. If it's not live, it's because I'm tinkering with something behind the scenes and adding more content. Uh, but if you guys go into the website itself, you go into education, there's going to be a little link here called free. So if we click that, this is going to be where I'm going to link things that are free, that are amazing content, great value, official, legal, non-pirated content here that basically I think you guys should have things that will build you towards being a quant and they will cost you absolutely nothing. So I don't put many things on here. And yes, there are stacks of nonsensical things out there that are just like haphazardly put together by people who aren't uh, professional quants or they just don't know what they're doing. But let's just dive on in here real quick. So as I mentioned here, this is quality materials. These are the things I learn from. These are the things I encourage employees that work for me to learn from. Um, first off here, there's two free books from the authors. Again, I didn't steal these PDFs. These are free. Uh, if you click introduction to statistical learning, uh, here's the website. You can download the second edition. Uh, I believe I paid like 80 to a hundred dollars or something for the actual textbook itself. I love having the paper copy guys. I'm sorry, but I have to have it. If you want it for free though, on a digital copy, you can hit here and hit download and I'll do this quickly. And as you can see, the entire book is actually here. And it is, I don't know, 612 pages. This is viewed by many as one of the best statistics and statistical learning, I'll put it in air quotes here, uh, machine learning here. So it covers sparse, method, sparse methods for classification and regression, decision trees, boosting support vector machines and clustering. And then the second edition, which is this edition here, um, covers deep learning, survival analysis, multiple testing, naive Bayes and general linear models, Bayes additive regression trees and matrix completion. Um, again, these are the four authors of the book. All have great backgrounds academically. Uh, if you reference anything out of here, I would almost full heartedly say anything in here is going to be 100% accurate. So an amazing resource. Uh, the second one's going to be deep learning here. So this is by... Ian Goodfellow and Yeshua Bengio and Aaron Corville. I apologize if I butcher any of these names. Again, I have used this for deconstructing and going through neural networks, looking at them for applications in finance. Again, you do not need a fancy schmancy finance book to do this. This is going to be 10 times better. Uh, again, just pointing things out here as well. It covers a wide variety of topics here. There's even Monte Carlo methods in here. So finance people. It's already in here. Anyways, that's books, videos here. So these are mainly YouTube channels. Ben Lambert, big shout out to Ben Lambert. Ben Lambert, I believe is a professor at like Oxford or somewhere, has the most amazing econometrics videos I have found. Uh, if you look at many of my videos, you can match them and see that the math will actually be the same. Again, because Ben Lambert's a professional and is doing everything by the book just as I do. So Ben Lambert, 100% accurate guaranteed, like I put everything on Ben Lambert here. Uh, but again, I recommend my employees, staff, students, people I've trained, go to his videos. He has what you're going to need. It's quick, it's concise, and it's correct. Uh, again, basic math help here. I guess I'll open Patrick's real quick. Patrick JMT has been a massive help for me over the years. So undergrad specifically, uh, he has all kinds of topics from really simple things like what is a limit, basic idea of limits. And then he has entire playlists here of other sorts of mathematics. I believe he has, let's see how many videos he has. Um, I don't know if it tells you, let's say about. It does not tell you, but he has hundreds of videos. Like if you're gonna go to get some math help, he's the guy that I would go to. A lot of it's just simple things. But if you need simple help, derivatives, those sorts of things, this is the channel I recommend. He's quite clear and quite easy to understand. The, the Bright Side of Mathematics here has an amazing playlist here I've linked on measure theory. So yes, 
people say, I talk about measure theory and people go, oh, you need that to do stochastic calculus. I'm just going to skip it and ignore it. Yeah, it can get pretty detailed and pretty theoretical in itself, but this will make learning measure theory far easier. Uh, I've gone through many of the videos, not all of them. So you can say I've watched pieces of them. This is where when I'm like, I'm stuck and there's a piece and it just doesn't quite make sense on measure theory. This is where I go to look it up quickly. Um, so measure theory, the bright side of mathematics channel has the best I have found. There could be something better, but I really enjoy that one. And then if you're into computer architecture, so I nerd out with computer architecture. I pretend I know nothing about it because I don't like talking about it <laughs> to random people. But this is, I've gone through quite a few of these lectures over the years. I absolutely love this series here. This is the spring 2015 computer architecture lectures from Carnegie Mellon. Uh, I really enjoy it. There's all kinds of really nuanced details. When I talk about, you know, computers are more than just programming because people think it's just programming. Uh, watch a few of these and you'll realize it's far more complicated on the architecture side to so the hardware side. But this will give you some good ideas here on computer architecture. Give you a little bit of background here. And then websites so far that I have up and running on here. Duke University's, I believe this is part of the business school. Best for time series, hands down. Okay, this is free. This is not a textbook. Uh, but this has really good content on it. And even when I start arguing with people in the uh, professional realm, often instead of referencing a textbook because they don't have the textbook, I will send them here to Duke's website. Uh, it covers very, very basics like introduction to forecasting, averaging and smoothing models, yada, yada, yada. And then more importantly, <laughs> in my domain here, in my preference here, uh, there's going to be a whole section here on ARIMA models, choosing the right forecasting models. Uh, this section five though, this is where the money's at, guys. This is the simple math. This is talking about like seasonal differencing and everything. This is where I'm telling people like, you're not doing it right. And then I can reference this. This has a lot of great insight. So even for training, uh, for work, for example, I have a lot of people come over here and check this out. And then of course, as soon as you're in here, you can bounce around and look at different structures uh, and different explanations of how things are done. So this is the favorite. So far, this is all I have on here. I want to add my content. So my YouTube videos and anything else I'm going to be adding. But currently, I don't have my hundreds of videos organized in some nice, easy way to find things. So I apologize for that. So I'm not going to give you guys a bunch of crap just to dig through for the sake of digging through things. These are going to be the core basics right now. I will continually update this and continually add bigger and better and more material on here. Um, again, as a quick caveat, I know I've been talking about creating a course forever now. And my mind is just going in every direction possible. And I can't figure out how to get the course structured in a way that you can access it from not having a super advanced background, but also to give you really powerful tools that are useful that will get you up and running in the quant realm so that you at least have a general idea of what people are talking about. Because I have figured out when I give presentations here, people love them. And then they say, but a lot of it didn't make sense. I think you could have maybe explained it better. And then I start talking to them and realizing they just don't have the background. So I need to figure out how to better teach and pitch these things as well. I'm still working on it. I know it's been forever, but give this guys, give this, this whole list a try here, check it all out. A lot of this content is going to be great and wonderful. It will help you a lot in grad school or even in the industry because this is the actual material that we use on a day-to-day -day basis. So Anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, until next time.